everyone, today we're going to talk about painful sex, painful intercourse, or the medical term is dyspareunia. So a lot of my patients with painful sex have vaginas that are spasmed, swollen, irritated, or for some reason it's just too tight and it doesn't allow them for penetrative sex. So the question I get is what's better, to use the wand or progressive dilators like these? When we start out, I like to use dilators first because you can start as small as you want and the patient can be laying down and relaxed and their goal is just to gently insert as much as they can. So on the first visit, if they can only insert a centimeter and just breathe and relax and gradually the goal is to get it in all the way. Once they can get one dilator in all the way and it doesn't hurt, and then you can just relax, and then they progress to the bigger one until we get to as big as we want to accomplish. Now, once the patient's okay with the dilators and the muscles have stretched, then we can use the wand for a specific trigger point release. So now the introitus and the vaginal canal is flexible enough, so now you can use the wand to do trigger point release. So let's say this is the vagina. We put a wand in. So inside, now we're actually gonna target specific muscles. Just like if you have a trigger point on a hamstring, when they massage it, they hold that point until it releases. So this is what we use for intravaginal trigger point release. So I like using the dilators for a general stretch or when they're starting out when everything's so painful. And then once they're okay with the dilators, then we go in with the wand to be more specific. So these are what patients use at home for treatment.